Hey, welcome back everyone. Today we're going to be testing out the DJI drones. We have both the DJI Avada, as you can see here. This is the newer one that they just released. And then we also have the DJI FPV. Now the names are a little confusing. They are both FPV drones. However, they do fly very, very differently. Sun setting. We're going to get a couple footage. I'm going to show you kind of some basic differences between these drones. They fly very differently. The Avada is extremely stable. The FPV is extremely fast. That's kind of the key difference there. So I hope you enjoy the footage. have it if I had to pick a favorite it would be the FPV I like the speed I like the fact it's cheaper and it has a better controller in my mind I'm just not a fan of the motion controller however if you're newer to drones the motion controller is really cool you can do roof inspections you can do anything you need with it it is so precise the Avada does have a big advantage in that regard I just don't like the motion controller it's just not my cup of tea so anyways FPV wins it for me the Avada is still a great drone now what you can do is bind the controller from this one to the Avada that does unlock 3d mode that does unlock the full 60 mile an hour speed that it is capable of but the drone still washes out in the air now with a drone that costs about $400 more than what the FPV does and the FPV is already really Really expensive because you can house build these for tremendously cheaper with more performance and they're more reliable plastic arms on these do like to break but I just don't see the value in the Avada truth be told it's a really cool drone it's just not quite capable to the standards that many of these other ones are now DJI as a whole I am so a huge huge fan of the ability to just click a button it automatically breaks it goes back to a normal mode it self centers it catches itself I think that is tremendously valuable when you're talking about learning FPV flying especially manual mode you're gonna go through tons of crashes right but if you can avoid those crashes before they occur or if you can stop them right before it happens that's fantastic and as you guys saw with this drone I did lose signal at one point we were way out there where people are dirt biking now now the drone got stuck in the air you can program a return to home with these so all the drone did was fly up to the 400 foot altitude that I set it to it flew all the way across it came right back to us once I had signal I was able to cancel it and go back to normal flight so again those are features of DJI they're not exclusive to the FPV or anything the Mavic the Mini 3 they all have them so that is a DJI thing I am definitely a DJI fanboy now one thing I will add is if you're new to drone flying it is definitely beneficial to get the Avada over the FPV it's just simply it can fly into things by accident it's a little it's definitely sturdier it's stronger it's not gonna break as easily during the event of a crash however it's just a more expensive price tag to get started at so it's just my two cents but Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video.